this money. <laughs> oh, think it's looking to this money. Man. What's your name, please? Mason Weaver. Clarence A. Mason, and better known as Mason Weaver. Mr. Weaver, you're, you're here at the uh, Truth Fest with uh, Pastor Cage. He comes here from St. Louis, Missouri. What do you suppose he brings to Southern California and to uh, the, the uh, liberal culture that doesn't hear otherwise? Fear to some, celebrations to others. What you have with Mr. Cage is the truth between the lies. Some folks are afraid of the truth, some folks embrace the truth. What you have is the answer to the question that the Republican Party have been apparently looking for. How do we reach out to the black community? How do we reach out to those where well, Eddie Cage is the answer of reaching out? No one reached out to him. He recognized the emperor had no clothes. And he made that journey to freedom almost alone. And when he made that journey, it took people to, to then help him reach where to go. Today, he's a challenge to us. Today, Eddie Cage represents a challenge for us to gather around him, find others like him, and send him back. When the slaves got free, they had to go back to the plantation and free slaves. We got to send Eddie Cage back to the plantation. Uh, where's the voice of, of black conservatives in America, aside from Alan West and Larry Elder, and uh, where, is the, 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 where are the new voices of the black conservative community? Are there even conservatives in the black community? <laughs> Most blacks are conservative, but where they're at is out of your eyesight. They're right in front of you, but unless you look for them, or unless you expect CNN to tell you who they are, you won't know who they are. You won't see them. Because you are, you are trying to preach to the choir. We are the guerrilla warriors. We're not on the front lines. We're not the troops. We're out in the field. We, we, we are places, Eddie Cage goes to places at night you wouldn't go to during the daytime. Right. So you won't reach him, but he's there. He's the guerrilla warrior. You're the manufacturer of arms. He needs your guns. He will take the community if you give him the guns and your weapons. But he is not going to be in your face waving who you are. He is not looking for you. You got to look for him. So he's there. A thousand of us are there. What part of the black community would you say, or the urban community, which would include uh, multi-ethnic people? Uh, you know, are Americans or Martians or folks from uh, you know, what? Well, Hispanic conservatives, yes. uh, uh, Asian conservatives. Uh, it, it mixed. How about American conservatives? Uh, I, I want to talk to them. That's all I'm interested in. If you are an Asian conservative, more concerned about your Asian heritage, go back to Asia. Uh -huh. If you are a Hispanic conservative, more concerned about your Hispanicism, go back to Mexico. This is America. It is the most successful culture the world has ever seen. I'm not a black American. I'm an American. I've been here nine doggone generations. My people have fought in every war our country has ever had. We've contributed to every economic, social, political, historical event in our history. I am an American. Let's start talking about that. So how do you feel about the, the term African-American? No, very few black people call themselves that. Uh, most black folks call themselves black folks. Uh -huh. I am not an African-American. I am an American. I, I don't understand. If I went to Africa, if I went to Sudan, uh -huh. would they call me an American, African-American? I mean, it's full. I can't go to Japan and be called an American, Japanese American. It's a way to separate us by our differences. I am an American, and I have a culture of American culture. I speak English properly. I'm a capitalist because I'm an American. I'm also a lover of Jesus Christ for the same reason. But aren't there blacks who try to condemn whites for uh, not using the phrase, the description African-American as, as racist? You have never heard that. I have never heard a black person say, I'm an African-American. I've heard white people refer to me as that. The term came 1973 in Baltimore, Maryland, where they had a, a summit of black groups. And Jesse Jackson stood up there and said, we're no longer going to be called Afro-Americans. We're going to be called African-Americans. The next day, Ted Kennedy stood in the will of Congress and referred to us as African-Americans. And all you guilty white folks, I'm not sure about you, but all the guilty white folks in America said, we best start calling them African-Americans. Black people never demanded. I want you to call me employed. I want you to call me dad. I want you to call me homeowner. I want you to call me retired comfortably. I want you to call me successful. But you don't have to call me by a continent. I'm not a continent. Right. I am a I am a, a individual. I have cultural beliefs. I have religious beliefs, but I'm an American. This culture is the, the most successful culture on this planet. Right. I want to be a part of it. I deserve to be a part of it. That's what I am. Yeah. Uh, and how, how do you feel about the uh, the news media? If there's uh, a suspect 
who happens to be black, yes. they don't use black or, or, or race in the description. They usually do. Uh, and recently they stopped doing that, but every time we have a joke in the black community, you have you see so and so describing the press, if they don't give the color, he's a white guy. If they give the if they give the <laughs> they give the race, if he does anything negative. They won't tell you about the black kid who saved his family from a burglary by shooting the guy. They'll tell you about the same age, 13 year old kid that went around the store. That's the media, that's their job. I don't care about the stereotypes they want to put. It yeah. does not matter to me what the media does. Right. What matters is what you and I do together. We live together in this community. You see each other. How many black people you see? Every time you see a black person, he's working. He's driving your bus. He's selling your car. He's fixing your car. He's going to the grocery store. He's, the, he's your grocer. That's, that's the black American. Just like you. Want a job. Want a career. Want to take care of his family. That's all of us. Every human being. Yeah. But they want you to think there's something different about black people. All we want is welfare. All we want is to make babies. And I'm saying, I'm telling you, there was a different culture. 60% of black people say they're conservative. Now, you, you, 90, yes, sir. And 95% of black people vote Democratic. But 40% vote. 60% don't vote. Now, 60% say they're conservative and 60% don't vote. Figure it out. Our job is pretty easy if we show up. Gotcha.